Welcome YTPC, Edwin here from Central Texas. Thursday, I'm hoping you're having a great day. Afternoon for me, having some water, nothing fancy. Let's call this my after work smoke. Relaxing. Oh yeah. Before I start, a big shout out to the Cubish Pipers. You know, they started this channel a month ago, a little bit like that, or two months maybe. Great couple, Cubish, Cuban, Irish couple right there. And they have a lot of experience with pipe tobacco and their videos are awesome. So make sure to check them out. Again, I'll put the link on my description. And brother, you know, don't worry about the kid making noise and playing in the background. We know. We understand. It's part of life, right? We know. And today, one of the pipes in my rotation, smoking the Peterson 303 that you know I love. It's a spigot model. And look at that beautiful bowl. And I love the Peterson's. And look at all that bird eyes and you know and the spigot look and it's just a sexy sexy pipe this one has the pillip and what that means is that you know it's a different format on that stem that the smoke is hitting your palate instead of the fish tail you know I like both I'm enjoying both formats so Still carrying my copper Zippo right here. And you can see this is not even not even a wig. And you can see how he's building already some scratches and characters and patina in it. So again, really early stages, but really looking forward. You know, the more I use it, how we start building that character. And today, smoking, this is a new blend for me. And you know, I've been really enjoying Wessex and Dan Tobacco. Well, I've been enjoying all type of blends, but lately, a lot of Wessex, Dan Tobacco in my rotation. And this is from Dan Tobacco, Treasures of Ireland. Limerick, Virginia Flake. And this has some perique in it. I think it has a 5% perique. Let me open this to show you how it looks. I just did a, you know, fold and stuff method with this tobacco right here. Look how that look. Based on the description, it says that it's Virginia Flakes with a 5% perique in it. And you can definitely tell that that's perique. But this Virginia right here is not, in my case, it's not sweet. It's more in the grassy side, it's more in the, yeah, like that grassy. And then I get a little bit of figgy style of flavors, probably from the Perique, breadiness, grassiness, a different profile from some of my other vapors. And I do enjoy that, you know, experiencing all these different profiles and mix that you can do with this. They don't say, they don't say that it has a topping, but like we know sometimes these companies put topping on it, right? And sometimes I get hints of cocoa. So not sure is that coming from the Perique or is this light topping on it? But I definitely get very light hints of cocos in the background, of cocoa in the background. I 
Like I mentioned, I don't get the, that classic Virginia sweetness. I don't get that. It's more in the grassy side, bready side. And then of course, the figginess probably coming from, I don't know, the mix of the Perique and the Virginia and that spiciness. Definitely a different blend from what I'm used to for vapors. Guys, you know, enjoying this one. Again, I've been in a vapor Virginia kick. And this one, you can definitely tell the spiciness. That 5% per it, you can feel it for sure. Not over the top, not over the top at all. And like I mentioned, those hints of cocoa, very, very interesting, I will say. Not always, but in that aftertaste, you get these hints of cocoa that, that I was not expecting at all. Where you go more into the bowl, definitely I start getting a little bit more of that spiciness. And yeah, another great quality tobacco. That I'm going to enjoy. And again, these are just some very first impressions of it. My plan is that after some time, you know, months or even a year or so, then I will try again and do a full review of this one. And I want to compare what I said in the first impressions and then how my palate changed, right? And compare that journey. That's one of my goals with these first impressions. And this one I got from Basswell because I wanted to get more of that Wessex Red Virginia. And I did, I did saw this when I was like, you know what? Let me try that as well. And guys, other than that, I will continue enjoying my evening, my afternoon evening here. I hope you keep having a great day out there and hey, keep your pipe lit, of course, and I'll see you in the next video. Edwin out. See you guys.